、二、一，点火。So the far side of the moon permanently faces away from the Earth, which means there is no direct line of sight、uh, from the Earth to that half of the moon, and that poses technical difficulties. So what China had to do this time was to first send a relay satellite, which is already orbiting around the moon, which will then provide communications to the to the Chang'e six mission. In 2020, China sent another lander to the moon, but it was from the near side. The scientific community is is rather excited about about this mission. It will allow for the first time for scientists to gauge how old the moon may be, to explore if water ice exists, to then turn into fuel to power other space missions. That will be a, a boon for space exploration. In effect, we are in a race, and so I think it's incumbent on us to get there first and to utilize our research efforts for peaceful purposes. A lot of space technology is dual use in nature, which means that it. Can have both a civilian and a military use. Then there's also that question of China claiming exclusivity in in, in certain region, use of resources on the moon and the like. Because there is a lot of unknowns, so certainly some U.S. policymakers and other observers would be concerned about what China does with its space program.